two sports notes. One, Virginia Tech fans are thrilled. They lost last night uh, to Miami at home. The final was 76-70. to Miami's a good team and beat the uh, Hokies last night by six. I think it was a couple nights ago. Okay, so they are playing against – they're playing in uh, Blacksburg, Virginia, and their fans were thrilled – because at the end of the game, one of the Miami players missed two consecutive free throws. And they have a deal with Smithfield Foods that if any opposing team's player misses two consecutive free throws, everybody in the crowd gets free bacon. <laughs> That's their deal. <laughs> so late in the game, they were cheering for it. Now, we got to get this here. After Jordan Miller missed that free throw, the crowd's going nuts. Here's why. If he misses the second one, everybody in this house gets free bacon. <laughs> bacon for everybody. <laughs> Sizzled up in the frying pan. The Hokies six and one all time when the fans win bacon. <laughs> now let's see who can bring home the bacon, as it were. Well, they weren't able to. They lost. So now they're six and two all time mm -hmm. when the fans get bacon. That's hilarious. I would think you'd get uh, most nights. I, I would think that an opposing player would miss two free throws in a row. Would, am you I think? wrong? I mean, I think so, but maybe not. Or if, so if it's just a one and one, or if it's a yeah, it's a one and one, then it, you can't it miss two in a row, right? If you if you miss the well, yeah, if you miss the first one, yeah, that's it. Can. So it has to be a two shot foul, shooting foul, and you have to miss <laughs> both free throws. That's right. Now mm. it's a coupon probably i don't guess they give you a pound on the way out do no they? they give you a pound of raw bacon <laughs> or is it just a slice when you walk no, out they give you one that's Here, right take this home and cook it that's right <laughs> they got a guy with a hot pan out there just or, it up. that's right yeah. or are they sizzling it in the concourse <laughs> yeah. as you leave hot it, hot 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 bacon at you. i hope that's the way now that, 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 that would be fun i hope that's the way they crispy do it. or chewy mm. crispy or chewy <laughs> crispy or chewy crispy <laughs> or chewy i like it and that's a smallish coliseum but that's a lot of bacon oh they love it and they're thrilled by that well, our local baseball team gives away they have a strikeout victim mm -hmm. and if he if they strike him out during the game everybody at the game gets a free biscuit yeah a free sausage biscuit so wait a minute For one strikeout but well, they pinpoint the player they, yeah. that's one player oh that's right yeah. that's right okay I think that's bullying. So when that, so as soon as he, as soon as he, don't comes you up, think that's bullying? So when he comes, he up comes to, up to the plate. Yeah, they start playing this song that goes biscuits, biscuits over the loudspeakers, and yeah. he's standing there and he knows he's the Biscuitville strikeout victim. <laughs> puts a lot of undue pressure on yeah. that every time. I think it puts, even after they've won the biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> You only get one biscuit. You can't get a second. So if he comes up to bat a second time, which he will, then they still do. I think that's <laughs> isolating and bullying. I just don't think that promotion should be allowed. Do they select the players at random? I think so. Like if it's a three-game series, they don't pick the same person each no, night. They don't pick the, yeah, well, that would just be series. above and beyond. No, they don't pick the same guy every night. You can need some sports But they do therapy. start at the bottom of the... Oh, they do. I was well, gonna, I mean... I was going to say, you, yeah. you pick... But you want to get the card in the people's hands. Right, yeah. I paid... You know, the company paid for the biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's tricky, though. Because if you go to the bottom of the lineup, he'll that the seven, eight, nine hitters will probably bat one fewer time than the one, two, three mm -hmm. hitters. But the mm -hmm. one, two, three hitters are better hitters. Right. I, I might go with a guy like a home run hitter who's either a home run or a strikeout. Yeah. You know, who's uh, right. swinging for the fences every time. But I don't like that promotion. Yeah. That's, okay. That, I love it. That's it's the most popular one. Of course it is. Because <laughs> we're so bull we're such bullies here, aren't we? I I can't even be now. I was the mastermind at that same ballpark of doing a video that fat shamed Biggie to the point that they had to take the video away. Yeah. I thought that they was had to so burn that funny. tape. I thought it was so the funniest funny. one. Wasn't that a great one? Yeah, but it was ridiculing. It was. We had an idea. I don't know if BB Shea knows this. We put everybody was in a baseball uniform, and yeah, we were on the field shooting videos. And we shot ten videos that would run throughout the year, like at the end of the game. And for one of them, this was my idea. I said, put Biggie at first base like he's going to steal a base. And then he runs halfway to second and it's like timeout and bends <laughs> down and, you know, catches his breath. And is like, okay. And the player at second is waiting for him with the baseball for like, you know, two minutes. Is there a food delivery? Yeah. Between first somebody and second base. Dog. We had somebody <laughs> come out with a hot, hot dog. dog. Yeah. For, that's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, this aired one time and got so many complaints because of shaming and bullying that it had to be taken yeah. out. That was it. The ball club was appalled, and they said, we apologize. We don't, did not intend no. to impugn or insult customers of size. Apparently, they aired it without seeing it. 
<laughs> they trusted us. <laughs> they trusted yeah, we us. Trusted. Delivered the goods. That's too bad. And look what look what I came up with. I was banned from the ballpark one year mm-hmm. because I even thought of that video. Here's the other basketball story. Uh, a high school basketball announcer in Michigan. What happened was the team was playing. This is the Hamilton. Christian's got the deal. Hamilton Hawkeyes. Yeah, Hamilton was playing West Catholic Tuesday night, and mm-hmm. the home team Hamilton mm-hmm. won the game. Yes. The superintendent of the school district happened to be there. His name is Brad Lusk. Okay. And Mr. Lusk, as superintendent, as Dave can tell you, weather heavy weather was coming through that part of the United States that night. Mm-hmm. So Superintendent Lusk decided to say, "School day, uh, snow day." So, right for the next day. So the, he, game, the game's being played. Game's over. It's uh, the final score is Hamilton fifty-seven and the opposition forty-five. Apparently, Superintendent Lusk made the snow day announcement to the student body mm-hmm. as the players were doing the handshake line. So the kids who were there from the home school, mm-hmm. the home team, got to see a win, and. They got a snow day announcement within two minutes. So the student section's going crazy, and the word gets over to the sophomore student who is the play by play announcer. And Lusk calls the snow day. Breaking news Lusk just calls a snow day right here at the student section. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have never seen that before. Breaking news. Lost call the snow day at Hamilton. Woo! No school for me tomorrow. And that's the end of the game. Zero's on the clock. 57-45. Lusk takes it home along with the Hawkeyes. My name is Aiden Lynch, your sophomore broadcaster. That is the end of the game officially. It's over. It's He's up. good. He's very That guy good. is very polished for 16-year-old. Now. That was my dream. That was my dream to call play by play for any any sports. Would you do that well? I don't know. I don't know if I would have done that well at, at 16. age sixteen. He's quite good. Very good. In my mind, yes, I would have done that well. Mm-hmm. I wanted. I used to cut, turn down the TV and call the games. Yeah. yeah, but when you were older, you did get a chance to call minor league baseball, and people still can't figure out what happened to your voice. That that ball was tattooed. <laughs> That's that's my signature call. The the tattooing and already one in, nobody out, bottom half of the first. Winston Salem getting off to a heck of a start. Certainly what they wanted. <laughs> I I really felt like I had it, you know. Yeah. I, I felt like I was doing You just like, waiting for a call from the bigs. I couldn't I can't believe they didn't call. Now that ball was tattooed. How many times? That's my signature. That's my it signature is. line. He still says it. I do and, and see at that at the time I was in high school, we had no access to do the game. They're doing them now on television, the kids, the internet. School, internet. internet. I, I watch my nephew's basketball games, mm-hmm. and they're two high school boys yeah. you know, at the desk calling the games on the stream. I begged for a chance to do it on the local radio station. Streaming hasn't been invented, kid. <laughs> said, no. They said, you, you're born too soon. I said, you're never going to get a chance to do this. Didn't you once call a game for bacon and biscuits? I mean, that's what they paid you in? Uh, ham. They, ham. They, uh, <laughs> I think it was pork. <laughs> that was uh, semi-pro basketball? That was, uh, yeah, I don't know if B.B. Shea knows that story. That's a good one, though. Uh, I, I paid you in pork products. They did. It, well, there was. this is how gullible I am. It was a semi-pro basketball team, uh, the Gators, the Carolina Gators. And, I mean, just as, as little nothing of a team as you can imagine. Yeah. Although they had some names on the they team. They had a few names, but they were basically barnstormers. They played against Darvin Ham, who is now a coach in the NBA. And Gene Lakers Banks coach. was part of the Gene organization. Bank. Gene Banks was a coach. Yeah. Gene Banks played to Duke. Duke big, big-time player at Duke. And uh, Rusty LaRue, who was at Wake Forest. I shot I shot around before the game with Rusty LaRue. I was like, Rusty, what? what? You know, and I was just, just rebound. <laughs> just rebound, kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first night I got there, uh, I called. I did uh, PA announcing, which you do now for yeah. baseball. Mm-hmm. I did PA announcing for the game, not play by play. I did PA, and I, you know, a like, foul has been charged in number seven, <laughs> <laughs> Darvin Ham. Ham. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you, did you put any flair on your announcements, no, or were you just no. uh, uh, absolutely conservative? By the book. By the missionary. book. Missionary. <laughs> missionary. Missionary <laughs> man. Number three, John Smith. So Smith. I did the game like that. There were dozens in attendance <laughs> in this huge arena. And so after the game, the first one, Clyde the Glide Austin, who was the general manager. NC State legend. Legend at NC State, came over to me and said, Chris, 
we can't pay you. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? I was supposed to get $50. He goes, we cannot pay you. We have no money. And I said, but Clyde. And he's like, I, I hope you enjoyed your experience. We cannot pay you. And I left. And that was it. I was like, okay. We need you next week. <laughs> I, said, we need you next week. I said, can you pay me next week? He said, we're going to pay you next week. I said, okay. So we'll I go, get you next week. Okay. Said, right. So before I got there, uh, I said to Clyde, I mean, I got there and I said to him, are you going to pay me this week? And he said, we are. We're going to pay you. $50. I said, okay, great. He goes, but you have to do the game first. We've got to collect from the. Now you owe me 50 from last time. Yeah. He said, there will be no 50. You're going to get 50 tonight. I said, okay. Call the game. I do my usual work. Number seven. And the final score, Gators, 88. <laughs> Pascagoula, 80. <laughs> Crowd following out. Clyde Glide comes over to me. I said, Clyde, are you going to pay me? He goes, Chris, we can't pay you. <laughs> We can't pay you. I said, Clyde, you told me you're going to pay me. Said, no, cannot pay you. All right. You'll be back next week, right? I said, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> we'll pay you next week. <laughs> well, it, this was like January, okay? And I go back for the third week. I do the game. I do my usual good job, okay, <laughs> with real applause. Please drive safely on your way home. The Gators, thank you. Good night. That's right. This is what Dave's talking about. This is the third and final time. I went over to Clyde. I said, Clyde, are you going to pay me? He said, Chris, we can't pay you. We have nothing to pay you with. He said, but and I said, well, I can't do it anymore. He said, wait, 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 wait. We have some leftover canned hams from a holiday promotion. <laughs> Take a ham with my compliments. <laughs> so I got a canned ham and, and drove home with it. That's what I had. But it was uh, out of date yeah. because, because it was now, you know, well past the holidays. And uh, I... I couldn't do it anymore, although I think I was signed up for the next game, but the team folded. And, that's uh, right. That's right. The team went out of business, and so I had to say, that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>